Hi everybody, it's Freya here from My Wild Child with another video for you this week and here's Fergus. Say hello Fergus. He's giving you a big wave. Nice to see you all again. I hope everyone's doing okay. I'd love to hear on the My Wild Child Facebook group if anybody managed to see with your binoculars or hear any of the birds that we talked about. Maybe you saw them in your garden, maybe you saw some birds from a window wherever you live. We'd love to see any photos and to hear about any stories of what you saw. Um, and actually, yeah, that's right, exactly. Fergus just reminded me that we've got a song for you this week. And it's a song that, that goes with our bird theme from last week. It's about a bird called the cuckoo and also about the owl. And it tells us what sounds those two birds make. So the cuckoo is a bird that we see and hear in the springtime. It comes out in the countryside in the springtime. And the owl, when does the owl, when do we, when do we hear the owl? Do you know Fergus, when do we hear owls? Yeah, exactly, we hear owls at night. So the cuckoo is out in the day, in the springtime, and it says cuckoo. And the owl comes out at night, and it says, the female owl says, it And the male owl says, so I'm going to sing you this song and you can see if you can learn it and join in and I'll post the words on the Facebook group as well so you can learn it more easily. Alright, are you going to sing with me Fergus? Yeah, Fergus is going to sing with me. So it goes. Nearby there is a forest and there the cuckoo sings from high up in the oak tree she tells us it is spring cuckoo cuckoo she tells us it is spring cuckoo cuckoo she tells us it is spring nearby in yonder forest the owl is out of sight from high up in the oak tree he tells us it is night hoo 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 he tells us it is night hoo 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 he tells us it is night so see if you can have a go at learning that song it'll help you to remember what the cuckoo and what the owl say and if you wanted to have a go at singing it and posting on the my wild child facebook group then we'd love to see you have a go at singing it too and let us know if you liked it so the other thing that fergus and i wanted to talk to you about this week and we've got a few activities for you around this next theme is something that birds really love to eat does anyone know what birds like to eat do you know fergus what do birds like to eat yeah they like to eat nuts and seeds some of them yeah fergus you're absolutely right anyone else know what else birds like to eat any other thoughts you guys got any thoughts any more thoughts fergus yeah, exactly. That's the one that I was thinking of. So lots of birds, as well as eating nuts and seeds and sometimes berries, lots of birds like to eat mini beasts, little creepy crawlies, little insects like worms and millipedes and um, wood lice and ants and sometimes spiders. Lots and lots of different mini beasts that birds like to eat and they give the birds lots and lots of energy to fly around um, and make their nests and do all the things they're doing at the moment in spring. So Fergus and I went on a bit of a bug hunt earlier and I know that lots of you like going bug hunting when we're out and about at our My Wild Child sessions and if you have a garden this is something that you could do out in your garden. You could use an old yogurt pot or a jam jar or something like that as a bug hunting pot and you could see what you could find. So Fergus and I took some of our bug hunting pots that we use at My Wild Child. And Fergus, do you want to hold on to that? And we found some mini beasts this morning. I wonder if you can see in there. Can you, see? Ooh, can you see in there what's in what's in that pot? Can you see it wiggling around in there? I know it's a bit dark. So what we have in here is a centipede. Around. So that is a 
lovely wriggly centipede and some birds would love to eat a centipede like that as a snack and can you see how many legs it's got that whoop there it goes off it goes back into its home so we found that centipede hiding under a rock um, so looking under rocks is a really good place to look for bugs or under old bits of wood or you can dig down in the ground or in any dead leaves in your garden. Um, so see if you can find any of those if you have a garden. We've got a couple of other ones that we found this morning. Fergus, do you want to show us what's in here? Okay, Fergus is holding the other one for you. Can anyone see what's in that one there? This one in here is a snail. Yeah, we've got a snail with a shiny shell. That's it, Fergus. Should I help you turn that around? So you can see a bit more clearly. Yeah, we've got a very beautiful snail there. And it's got a spirally shell. And lots of different shades of brown. Oh, well done, Fergus. You're doing a great job of showing everybody there. I hope everyone can see that all right. There we go, so that's our lovely snail. It's stuck to the side of our bug pot, that one. And me and Fergus, after we make our video, we're gonna make sure that we put the snail back where it came from so that it can go back to its life. We don't wanna keep it too long because that might get a bit sad. And then we found one other bug, Fergus. Do you want to show them the other bug? Yeah. One other bug that we found. In fact, there are two of them in here. Should we show you? Top look. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. See if we can zoom in. So in there we have two little wood lice in that bug pot there, and they're being a bit sleepy. Oh, there they go. They're being a bit sleepy, those wood lice today. I think that they're not liking being in that pot too much, so we're gonna pop those wood lice back, aren't we, Fergus? Will you do that for me? Yeah, Fergus is gonna make sure he puts the wood lice back where they came from. So you could do some bug hunting. You could also, if you would like to, and maybe some of you might have done this before, you could have a go at making your own bug hotel. And this is something you could hang in the garden or you could hang it outside your window if you don't have a garden and see if that attracts any bugs to your nearby your house. But Fergus and I made earlier. Can you see that? So this, what we've used here, is an old coffee tin it's an old coffee tin and um, you can use all sorts of different things to make your your bug hotel though so here we've got an old baked bean tin and you could use one of those if you have a can opener that takes the top of the tin off without leaving a sharp edge we don't want any sharp edges you can have a go at that you could use an old yogurt pot or this is an old pot from some cream that we had hanging around so you could use one of those or you could cut the bottom off of a plastic bottle and you could use you could use that so lots and lots of different things you could use and you're bound to have something around in the house that would be suitable so we used an old coffee tin and inside if you can see what's inside there we've got some sticks like this one here we've used some sticks inside our bug hotel We've used some rolled up bits of cardboard. Can you see in there? Some nice rolled up bits of cardboard. We've used, um, we had some paper straws hanging around Fergus and I, so we used a few of those. Um, and also a few, oh, we were doing some tidying up in the garden and there were lots of plants that had, can you see, I can see right through that, that had hollow stems, so any dried up, um, stalks and stems of plants that you might be getting rid of at this time of year in the spring in your garden they're really good as well so anything that has a hole in the middle is really good because lots and lots of insects like to hide down inside those hollow stems those holes where they feel safe from things like the birds that we were just talking about who like to eat them so all of those kind of things you can stuff into your um your bottle or your yogurt pot or what you're using to make your bug hotel and then we used a bit of straw dry straw to hold things in place so we've poked it down 
into the holes to hold things in place so they don't fall out. But you could use any grass that you have lying around or dried leaves, um, anything that you have just to stuff down there to hold it in place. And then we tied a string onto ours. Thank you, Fergus. Fergus gonna hold it up there. We've tied a string on so that you can hang it up in a tree. So we're gonna hang ours in a tree, aren't we, Fergus? Yeah, yeah, Fergus is really excited about that. Yeah, we're gonna hang it in a tree. So you could have a go at that and do take a picture of that and let us know how you get on. And over the next few weeks or even few days, you might see some creepy crawlies moving in there. So let us know if you see anything coming in there. Yeah, Fergus, you enjoyed that activity, didn't you? Yeah. And have we got one more activity for the children, for the My Wild Child children this week? What's the other one? Can you remember? Oh yeah, that's a good one too, isn't it? Yeah. So, should we have a look? We've got one down here. Will you go and find it? Also this week, I did get him. Fergus is very pleased with this one. Uh, making some creepy crawlies. So I went out into the garden and I dug up some mud, some nice mud from the garden and I've made myself, with Fergus's help, a little spider. So can you see my spider's got wiggly wiggly legs, it's got eight legs and I found sticks for my spider that were a bit bent like legs and then it's got, in fact it's lost an eye, my spider. It's meant to have eight eyes as well but it's lost an eye so it's a seven eyed spider this one. Um, yeah, so we had a go at making a spider, but you could have a go at making all sorts of things with some mud and some twigs. You could make a millipede or a centipede, like the one we saw. You could make a spirally snail with a spiral of mud. You could have a go at making a caterpillar or a worm. Um, so see if you can get creative, see what you can make. And if you don't have a garden where you can dig up some mud, you could also make yourself some dough and I will post a recipe online so you could have a go at making some dough and you can make some dough creatures instead of some mud ones if you'd like to do that. So, should we go over that? Yeah, so what were the things that we said we could make today? We talked about the song that you can learn, we talked about doing some bug hunting, we talked about making your um, bug hotel to see if you can attract some more bugs a closer look at that there to your house um, where you live so you can have a look at those and we talked about making a nice mud mini beast mud mini beast here's my spider so see if you can have a go at those activities and then and do let us know how you get on do post any pictures of them on the facebook page and me and fergus will see you next week enjoy spring have fun! Bye! Give a big wave, Fergus. Bye!